Hey, Andy. What's going on? Why is it so dark? Power's off. The power's off? What happened? I don't know. I came in this morning, flipped the switch, nothing happened. I checked some of the other lights. They didn't work. Uh, went to the car, got my flashlight, checked the fuse box. It looks fine, but not working. So I called the power company. They're checking into it. Do they know when they'll have them fixed? Nope, not yet. Where'd you get the candles? Oh, I had those in storage. I got them in a yard sale. I thought we could use them in a scene sometime. Well, you thought right. We'll use them today. It's pretty cold in here, too. Yep, no heat. We got electric heat in this building. No lights, no heat. Wow. What a way to start the day. Hey, everybody. Hey, Gabe. What's going on? Why are all the lights off? The power's off. The power's off? You heard right. What happened? Don't know. Rudy said he just came in this morning and there was no power. There's no heat either. Yeah, it is chilly in here. I called the power company. They're checking into it. They know anything yet? No. You check the fuse box? Been there, done that. Huh. No lights and no heat. Hi, guys. Hey, Travis. Hey. Hey, Kelly. What's going on? Yeah, why is it so dark? Uh, the power's off. The power's off? Yep, came in this morning, no power. And no heat. Kidding, what's up? The electric company's checking into it. Hey, everybody. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. hey uh, what's with the candles? Uh, the power's off. What happened? Rudy came in this morning and there was no power. Or heat. Oh, yeah? Is Joanna here yet? No, I caught her at home right before she left, so I told her just to stay put till the power comes on. That's good. There's not much she can do in the office anyway without any lights. Well, there's not much any of us can do. Gee, Rudy, you could have called me, too. I could always use a little extra beauty sleep. You could use a lot of extra beauty sleep. Oh, oh, oh. you walked into that one, Gates. Uh, no, I didn't. She knows better. In fact, you didn't finish your sentence, did you, Kelly? No, Gates, you're right. Uh, I was just going to say that you could use a lot of extra beauty sleep. Not that you need it, because you're so handsome. Thank you. <laughs> You see, Travis, that's what she was saying before you cut her off. Gates, Kelly and Andy are the only two who don't need any beauty sleep. You can use all the sleep you can get. <laughs> Got you, Gates. You know, Travis, I'm going to be the first to speak at your early funeral. <laughs> all right, look, I thought we could talk about the lineup for this week's show. Um, we're already ahead with scenes for the week. And I know the power's off, but I thought we could at least talk about what we want to do. That sounds good. Hey, does the coffee maker work? Not unless it runs on batteries. <laughs> That's right, what a dummy. No power. I wasn't gonna say it. What, no power? <laughs> no, what a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rudy, what you got for us? Okay, well, apart from this week's lineup, I've got a list of the themes we've already done as well as some new ideas we've come up with. You know, we could do a show about the power being off. Hey, that would be cool. And the heat being turned off, too. Yeah, that would be cool. We could even turn the heat off in the building. That way it would seem real to the audience. The 7th Street Reality Theater. Yeah. A show with the power off. I think it's a good idea, Rudy. Me too. Maybe the power being off is from the Lord and he wants us to do a show about the power being turned off. Gee, Travis, I thought I just came up with that idea. You did? Yeah. Well, what do you know? <laughs> what do you think, Rudy? I, it sounds good to me, I, the power off part. I'm not so sure about the heat off. But the heat idea really adds, Rudy. And it'll add to our medical bills, too, when the audience comes down with pneumonia. Well, we don't have to turn the heat down that low. Yeah, just bring it down to 50. Oh, that'll be too cold. OK, 55, then. Uh, add 10 degrees. 65? At least. That's beach weather. <laughs> All right, so let's say we go with this. No power. What kind of scenes do we do? Tons of them. Sure. Such as? There are a whole bunch of ideas. Yeah, like all the analogies in the Bible about darkness and light. I was just thinking of that. So, give me an example of one. Oh, I know. Let's do a show with the power and the heat off. That would be great if we can make it work. No, really, just give us a little time. We'll try to work up something. Yeah, all we need is time. I know. Look, I'm just kidding. Um, power's off. Y'all don't need to stay here all day. But if we could stick around a little while, come up with some ideas for this. I'm going to go call the power company and see what's going on. OK, Rudy. Hey, guys, I really like the idea of doing a show with the lights off. But if we're going to do it, it has to be good. Yeah. If people came to see a show where it's about the lights being off, we'd better give them something that delivers. No power and no heat. Well, maybe it's just no power. We're not sure yet about no heat. Well, I think it could work. Me too. Turn it down to 45. Travis. 
Well, does anybody have any ideas? Well, we need to come up with scenes that deal with darkness. I've got an idea. We could do a scene about a coal mine. Jamie, Travis, do you guys have hard hats? No, I don't think they do, Kelly. They've got hard heads, but I don't think they've got hard hats. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Gates. As a matter of fact, we do have construction hard hats, and I think they'll work just fine. Yeah, we'll make something work. Okay, so my idea about the scene is that there are two guys stuck in a coal mine, there's very little air left, and all they have is their flashlights. Now, Kelly, can I just ask you one simple question? I mean, why are you writing a scene with these two guys and not me? I mean, is, is there something about me you don't like? You know I like you, Gates. Well, what is it then? Oh, oh I know. It's because I'm, and they're not. What do you mean you're, and they're not? You know. Gates, that's not it at all. Well, what is it then? I mean, it can't be anything else. Can't be what? The reason why you're writing a scene with the two of them and not me. I mean, I know the reason. And it's staring all of us right in the face. It's obvious. It's because I'm bald and they're not. <laughs> Gates. He got you, Kelly. Gates. You're very funny, Gates. Sorry, Kelly, I was just kidding. But I saw an opportunity to set you up, and I had to take advantage of it. But listen, don't worry. If you want to write a scene without me in it, I won't take offense. Just see if I ever write another scene with you in it. Yeah, I heard that, Gates. OK, OK, it sounds like Kelly has one idea. Anybody else? Well, how are we going to do this? Are we going to tell the audience the lights aren't working and we're having problems with them? Or are we just going to do scenes that take place in the dark? I think we should start everything out with the lights off and make an announcement that they're not working. That way we can catch the audience off guard. Ah, but that would be lying. Yeah, you're right. We don't want to do that. Well, we got to figure out some way where we can have the lights off and let the audience know it's part of the act. We'll figure something out. Yeah, we'll think of something. But keep the heat off until it gets down to 40 degrees. <laughs> 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 Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Bye. So what's the good news, Rudy? Good news is the lights are only out on one side of town. Well, that's good news, I guess. The bad news is it's our side of town, and we don't know when they're going to be on again. I wonder what the problem is. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, maybe somebody at the main office pulled the plug, and then all the technicians are out looking for the problem. <laughs> <laughs> not funny. No, it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just trying to lighten things up. If you want to lighten things up, why don't you help the lights lighten up? Well, an electrician, I am not. Yeah, me neither. I guess we'll just have to wait this one out. Hey, I thought somebody was up here. Hey, Rudy. What are you doing up here with no power on? Oh, I know. I just had an idea. What? Well, I thought I'd take some work home with me. There's power there. Never thought of that? Only problem is, most of the work I do is on the computer. I guess I could take that home, too. Uh, you don't want to lug that thing around. But we don't know when the power's going to come back on. Um, why don't you just go home? Just call it an unexpected vacation day. <laughs> unexpected vacation day? Well, I can just take some files home with me and work on our statements. Sounds like a party. Right. What's everybody else doing? <laughs> They're uh, trying to come up with some scenes that have to do with not having any lights. Thought they'd use that for the theme for the show. That sounds cool. I'd like to see that. So would I. How are you going to see it without any lights? Hey, Gates. Back here in the prop room. Well, I've got some good news for you. Kelly's coal mine routine is all yours. What do you mean? You and I are now going to do the scene. Oh, I was just teasing with Kelly earlier. Oh, she knows that. It's just now it's going to be you and me and not Jamie. Well, you guys didn't have to change it. I told you, I was just teasing with her. We understand that. We just really couldn't find a hat to fit Jamie's head. <laughs> <laughs> but we did find one to fit your big old head, though. <laughs> 
A perfect fit. Well, now you got the script. Learn your lines. We're on in 10 minutes. Wait a minute, I need more than 10 minutes. Well, take 15. I'll see you on the stage. Hey, buddy. We gonna get out of here? Well, considering we're trapped in a coal mine and we have absolutely no light, no food or water, and soon we'll have no air, and there's no way we can move 10 tons of rocks around us. So with that said, do you really want me to answer your questions? No. But I want you to tell me that help's on the way and we're gonna be all right. We both gonna get home for supper. This is all a bad nightmare. Okay. Everything is going to be all right. And help is on the way. And you know, I'd like to invite you for supper tonight. My wife is going to be making her specialty. <laughs> and all of this, this is not a nightmare. Well, it's mighty nice of you to invite me for supper. But there's one thing you said, though, that I just don't believe. What's that? But this, not a bad nightmare. Are you scared, my friend? Yeah. Do you know if your faith is in Jesus Christ? Yeah. How about you? Oh. oh, yeah. Are you sure? Well, I hope so. <laughs> Are you sure? I hope so. Because we might die here today. Might. Well, it always helps to leave a little room for hope. <laughs> but the situation we in, I don't see no hope. We're gonna die. I don't wanna die. Well, neither do I. Nobody does. You know, when you're in a position like this, we should think about what's really important. Yeah, it sure does. No, I just thought of something. What? Well, this is, this is the plight of every human being. I mean, here we are. Stuck in this here cave, down below the earth, there's no way out. Everybody born is in the, in the same situation. They, they're born in sin, they're spiritually dead, they're separated from God. If he don't come in and give them spiritual life, they got no way out. Uh, that's kind of like us, isn't it? Huh. Unless someone from out there comes in here to rescue us. Man, I ain't never thought about it like that before. Would you like to say a little prayer, man? We could. Because I already been praying inside. Yeah, me too. But 
you know, we should always be in prayer. Not just when we get in trouble. You're right. Because the Lord sees our situation. He knows. Maybe we should say a prayer. Yeah. You want to say it? us out of here and we ask you to forgive us of all of our sins in our life we ask you to help us to get out of here and we ask these things in the name of Jesus Amen Amen Thanks, buddy. That was a right nice prayer. Yeah, well, I meant every word. I'm sure God heard every word. I don't know. I'm having a little trouble breathing. <laughs> yeah, the air is getting pretty thin. I don't know. I don't think we're going to make it, buddy. Don't give up. We just prayed and asked God. He, he can come through for us. I know. I'm not giving up. I just mean I'm having a little trouble breathing. Now just, just stay calm. Just stay calm as you can. What was that? Sounded like tap. Well, thank you, Jesus, for that. I just hope we get here in time because I don't think we have much time left. Well, they sound pretty close. I think we're gonna make it. Yeah. Yeah, but for a minute there, I was really thinking that. Yeah. I know. But you know, just because we're going to be rescued, that doesn't mean that changes our situation any. What you mean? We ain't gonna die. We're getting out of here. We may not be going to die today, but one day, we're all going to die. You know, maybe the law did us a favor, letting us get stuck in this here cave. What do you mean? Well, he sure put things in perspective for us, didn't he? Yes, he sure did. <laughs> he sure did. Hey, buddy. What's for supper tonight? That's going to play well. Good writing, Kelly. Thank you. And you guys played that well. Thanks, Rudy. Yeah, thanks, Rudy. Now, Rudy, speaking of supper, ain't it about that time? Yeah, uh, we're still growing boys, so we got to eat. Y'all been working hard today, so y'all can leave whenever you want. Because the lights have been out all day. It must be a really difficult problem over there to figure out. Yeah, but despite the lights being out, it looks like it was a productive day. It was. It was. We got some good scene work, and you know that minor thing is going to work well for the show closer, I think. <laughs> well, what do you know? It's almost 5 o'clock, and the lights come on before we go home. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, you guys. Think about what Geach just said. The lights come on just before we go home. In their coal mine scene, Travis and Gates are talking about how they think they're gonna die. They're running out of air, and just in the nick of time, they get rescued. We've been working here all day, and the lights haven't been working. Now that it's time to go home, they come on. How many people out there in the world are living in the darkness and are just about to go home? By going home, I mean they're gonna die. They need the light of Jesus Christ in their lives 
but they don't realize it. You know, I think maybe the Lord did us a favor today with these lights not working. Why do you say that, Jamie? Because he let us see how important what we're doing here really is. People need to surrender their lives to Jesus Christ before they surrender their last breath. That gives what we're doing here real purpose. We're trying to reach people for Christ before they go home. We're trying to reach people for Christ before the lights really do go out on them forever. Thank you.